What did you miss last week in YouTube Web Dev? In this video, I'll highlight my favorite videos from this week to help you decide which to watch. And maybe you'll discover some new videos and channels that you didn't know about. Be sure to watch to the end to check out the underrated video of the week that you need to watch. If this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. All of the links in the videos mentioned will be in the description below. Now, this is a new video series that I'm trying out, so let me know what you think. This is Stacker News. Now, these are in no particular order. First up, JavaScript Mastery posted a two-hour JavaScript crash course for beginners. JavaScript is one of the most popular programming languages, and it's not that hard to learn, and it's extremely powerful. In this video, you'll learn the fundamentals of JavaScript, including variables and data types, operators and equality, logic and control flow, and functions. This course is written using modern JavaScript, including all of the newest features. So be sure to watch this video if you're just getting started in JavaScript or you need to brush up on the latest features. Next, Danny Thompson tells us seven reasons why self-taught programmers fail. These are the biggest reasons why self-taught programmers, boot camp graduates, and college graduates fail to become developers. And of course, he'll tell you how to fix these problems and get you back on track quickly. Next, on Dennis Ivey's channel, his wife, Solmita, teaches you some of her top UI UX design tips. She's an amazing graphic and web designer, so be sure to check out these quick tips to improve your designs. James Q. Quick released a series of short videos on JavaScript array methods last week. In these, he quickly shows you how to use the filter, map, reduce, sort, every, and sum methods using a fun Star Wars API, so be sure to check those out. In this video, Chow Codes tells you whether you should use a Mac or PC for coding. He goes through all of the pros and cons and tells you which one he prefers to use. So if you're trying to decide or maybe thinking about switching, this is the video for you. In our next video, Kevin Powell, the CSS demystification expert, shows us the differences between CSS outline and border. He shows us some really cool ways to use outlines that you've never thought of. Be sure to check that one out. Do you want to become a web developer with an average salary of $78,000 a year? This video from Programming with Mosh answers the frequently asked questions about web development. Pros and cons of web development. Do you need a college degree? What programming languages and tools to learn? And how long it takes to be job ready? Next, pun intended, Fireship taught us the basics of Next.js in 100 seconds, and then he goes beyond 100 seconds and helps you to build your first server-rendered React app with a full Next.js beginner's tutorial. Next.js is getting very popular, and I'll have some Next.js content coming very soon to this channel. Next up, Program with Eric reviews my VS Code Superhero course and lets you know if it's worth checking out. It is. Be sure to check out his video to get his thoughts and a chance to win a free copy. Now, if you're looking for a bit of humor mixed with reality, be sure to watch this video from Web Dev Simplified. Everyone talks about the different types of programmers, but what about the different types of bad programmers? In this video, Kyle digs deep into how terrible programmers think by interviewing 0.10x developers. My favorite one is John. You have to watch it. Now for the underrated video of the week. Be sure to check out this video from Better Dev. Chris loves prototyping with Tailwind CSS. It lets you create designs quickly. In this video, he shows you how to use Snowpack to easily set up your VS Code environment to take full advantage of Tailwind. You'll be able to use the Tailwind CSS IntelliSense VS Code extensions and the extra Tailwind CSS features like purging classes, dark mode, and much more. Let me know what you think about this video. Would it be helpful for me to do this every week to help you keep up with the web dev videos on YouTube? Let me know in the comments below. That's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.